Hi there, and a warm welcome to the channel. So today we're making lentil and feta lasagna. So I'm going to be slow cooking the vegetables with the sauce, but of course you might want to roast the vegetables for that extra flavour that you get when roasting veg. I started off by chopping four garlic cloves and a red onion and adding that to the slow cooker. You'll see that I've got some cauliflower. Um, that's just because I've found a bit in the fridge that needs using up today. As a tip, if ever I'm using cauliflower or broccoli in a slow cooker recipe, I'll place those onto the bottom so that it cooks with the liquids. I chopped up one courgette and a large sweet potato and added those to the slow cooker. And then I added some black pepper and some Italian herbs just because I've got plenty of those in the cupboard. And I'm using a jar of supermarket pasta sauce. Now I have, um, and I do like to make my own pasta sauce and use that, but for convenience I went ahead and just bought a jar when I was buying the vegetables. Now I slow cooked this for six hours on low and when it was cooked I added a tin of drained lentils and gave it a good mix around. You'll notice that the liquids and the tomato did separate but as I say by giving it a good mix that's not an issue. I also rescued some mushrooms and added those in to the pasta sauce mix. So you'll see that I've got two small Pyrex bowls with the lids on and they're ideal for making recipes and popping them in the freezer. Today I'm just going to make one portion to eat and another portion for the freezer. The foil dish well, was an afterthought because the recipe yielded a bit more than I was expecting. I got the feta ready, lasagna sheets and another supermarket jar, uh, this time for the bechamel sauce. So I loaded those up, just two layers of um, the pasta sauce and veg mix with the lasagna. Finishing off with bechamel sauce and some grated cheese on top. So I did cook all of these three, as I say I was only having one today. The others I cooled down and then popped in the freezer. In case you're wondering why did I use fresh lasagna sheets, that's just so that it's a lot easier to form to the size of your dish. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you are going to think about making that. And uh, I'll see you soon when we do another recipe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, enjoy lasagna, and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.